proficiencies in MATLAB YouTube tutorials. Today we'll be doing a statistical test called Mark Smirnoff and we want to see is the set of data normally distributed. There's some of the commands we're going to use today. In fact, all the commands we're going to use today. I made up a set of data here, income, and then I sorted it. And then on this line here, I normalized it. So how did I normalize this? I took away the mean from each value and I divided by the standard deviation. I got the CDF of the data and I got the expected. So the expected, if I just go down here a little bit, the expected is the red line. Uh, the observed is this. So how do I do that just in case I went too quick? So CDF plot Z, that would just give me the blue line. And then the norm CDF is the expected. Okay. And if you're doing it by eye, you're looking for the biggest differences. And to me, oh, actually, it might be there. I thought it was from here to here would be the biggest difference. But maybe it's from there to there. Not quite too sure which is the biggest difference, but anyway, I suspect it's that one. That's doing it by eye. We want to do some real science. So I have it heavenly commented here. There's four possible output values, and they're the input. So the alpha is the level of significance, and the tail, whether it's a one tailed or a two tailed test, if you leave out the tail option, uh, it assumes it's two-tailed, and alpha is 0.05 or 5% almost universally. I've listed the output. H is the outcome. It's 0 or 1, 0 except the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is the data is normally distributed. Uh, P is the probability, the p-value. K is the, the biggest difference. What do I mean by the biggest difference? I assume it's there. And then C is the critical value. So if K, if that there is less than the critical value, we accept the null hypothesis. I have the comments here about the return values for H, P, and K. And I also have them there. So let's go slowly here. H is 0. Uh, we have no reason to reject HO, in other words, accept it. P, 0 0.6805, 0 0.6805. What was the run test at? 5%, so 0 0.6805 is much, much larger than 5%. So we're quite strongly accepting it. Uh, what's the biggest difference? I have a comment here, 1954. 1954, so that was the gap. Just remind you up here. The biggest gap, which is probably there, is 0.1954. And the critical value is 37.54. So 0.1954 is much, much less than 37.54. So we're well inside the acceptance region. Hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening.